What's good? We back with the Boston Clinic and more. Y'all know what it is. Your boy CJ Goodfella. Definitely appreciate everybody for subscribing, liking, sharing the videos. We back in the building. And, um, you know, Lomachenko, I'm going to link an article to the description. It's set to return back August 25th at the Forum, new, newly re renovated Forum, where the Los Angeles Lakers used to play at back in the day. Nick Van Axel, Vladimir, I mean, Vladdy Divac, Eldon Campbell, Eddie Jones, you know the crew. If you know the Lakers, uh, you know history a little bit. And um, you know, <laughs> who was they fooling, man? He gonna be coming back against Ray Beltran, you know. Um, you know, Javante Tank Davis is, is said to be a dark horse, but it's gonna be Ray Beltran, you know, that's what he's coming back against. He gonna unify belts with Ray and they're gonna continue to pump this guy up. It'll be the first time that he will be unifying belts in one you know, period. So, something to look at. He got the ring belt now. It's not a real belt. He got the WBA. Um, I think it's only one WBA champion at uh, at 135. And uh, he going for Ray Beltran. People going to blow that up again. Oh, he be Ray Beltran for a belt. I mean, he's not doing anything that's exciting me, dude. That To the extent where people putting him in the Hall of Fame status, the GOAT status, the this and that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not intrigued by things he's done so far. Being Linares, he's been knocked out three times. You did it the fourth time. I mean... You know, that's my opinion, but I, I still think he's a, a you know, once-in-a-generation type of talent. Uh, footwork is, is beautiful. Never seen footwork like that. And his style is unique. I will get at the Bob Aram. This is a style that you haven't seen in boxing. And when you haven't seen a style, you know, before, and he's an innovator, and got, and you got kids that's probably going to try to imitate that style to be bringing, you know, even if you go out there and, and don't have a career that we you know predict that he may have. You know, he still is an innovator. He still, we haven't seen a guy with that style before, and I think that's what makes him special. Um, it's hard. Oh, my God, the Baltimore Orioles beat somebody 17-1. or <laughs> This came on my screen. But, you know, a lot of people get turned off by Lomachenko because of the, uh, the, comments, the commentary, the commentators, whatever you want to call it, Bob Aaron pushing them down his throat. And, you know, that turned people off. And then you got the fans who – who, who some of the gullible fans that really believe that he did see that. And that's what turns people off to him. And I'm here to bring balance, bro. Um, balance. I don't want motherfuckers here getting too high on Lomachenko, and I'm not going to let you get too low on him. You know, I'm going to tell you my guy, my guy, honest opinion, bro. I think Mikey is, it will be too much for him. And I like Tank betting eyes wise to beat Lomachenko. That's some eyes that I would take. You know, you can say I'm crazy, I'm wrong, I'm right. It don't, don't matter. I know what I know. I'm not just saying it to pull it on my ass for, you know, for views or, or for accolades. I'm letting you know what I know what my eyes see. And styles make fights. But to get back to the topic of the, the video, he ain't fighting Ray Beltran. That was the plan the whole time. You know, if the largest fight happened, it happened. If it didn't, he going to get a belt, be a three-time weight division champion, you know, versus Ray Beltran. Now they can unify belts with Ray Beltran. As long as Ray Beltran don't suffer an injury or retire or get deported or whatever the hell, you know, going on in his life, which I got a lot of respect for him, he will be fighting Lomachenko. That contract is probably already wrote up and signed. And that's you're going to be getting at the form because Ray Beltran trains out there at the wild card gym, the West or whatever, Santa Monica wild card gym. Um, Lomachenko's fought in L.A. before. They're trying to make him an international star. And, um, you know, we all know Ray Beltran don't have a chance in that fight, you know. Um, it's just a, a fight. And I guarantee you'll be on regular ESPN. They won't put Lomachenko on the ESPN Plus app unless they have to. And they and, I'm, and Bob Ram, I'm not going to let that happen, you know. And it's a shame that Crawford got to go on, on that Plus app, but it is what it is. And for guys that's holding out hope, they fight Mikey Garcia, he not. You know, he not. Mikey Garcia not fighting Lomachenko unless he goes over to ESPN. They show him enough money, and they not. ESPN, top rank, they pay their own. And then, you know, the challenger, get what he get. You know, they're not playing two A-side type of money. I'll tell you that right now. They're not paying, you know, two million to one guy, two million to another guy. They're not doing it. You know, they're they going to continue to to find good enough contenders to pay them just enough and be able to play their top stars, top money. So for people out there holding their breath for Crawford, Spence, or something like that, unless that goes to pay-per-view or, or, or Earl Spence hits. Uh -huh. Or else makes his tough times or or showtime, you know, you know, don't have no money or whatever happens with that. It ain't happening, bro. Terrence Crawford not crossing over. And historically, I told you the WBO championship belt 
has never been part of an undisputed champion at World's Weight Division. And I think history will continue to hold that, you know, real shit. Because Crawford is not going to be allowed to fight the Premier Boxing Champion fighters no time soon. Unless the Premier Boxing Champions cross the gun line and goes to ESPN, which Al Hammond can allow and would allow. But Bob Arum doesn't have the money to pay them the way Al Hammond's been paying them. You know, if they had the money for Terrence Crawford to come to Showtime, they wouldn't do it still. He said last night, I want my fighters to come over. You know, you got to come over to ESPN. He said it last year when Top Rank ESPN first started. You know, so for you guys holding your breath, you're going to continue to say, well, this guy, Doug, and that guy, well, Bob Arum is, is, is the, the person in the middle, you know, you know, didn't want, not making that happen. He don't want to be flexible. If it ain't his money, his network, he don't, he ain't going to have them guys fight. Same thing with Jorge Linares. Linares wanted to drag the HBO. You know, they had the date. They had the time with the Triple G Canelo replay, too. Playing after that, Bob Arum said, no, we got to be on ESPN, got to be on ESPN. So, you know, Golden Boy was flexible, but guess what, you know, the, the money that Lenares made last night, that's not going to be good enough for Mikey Garcia to come over here. It's not going to be good enough for Tank to come over there, unless Mayweather wanted it to happen. So, um, But, yeah, he coming back versus Ray Beltran. I can tell you that right now. Unless, you know, Ray get injured or something like that. It won't be Mikey. You know, Tank can be a dark horse. because Mayweather mad at him. But I don't see that fucking happening right now because they want to do Tank and, and Tevin Farmer next after Tevin beat the hell out of Billy, jo- I mean, uh, Billy Dib. So, you know. It is what it is. People going to continue to praise this guy. But until, you know, he fight Mikey Garcia, I think, you know, if he beats Maverick Jr., that's the only real competition at 135 that could really jump him to pound for pound number one or close to that. Um, beating Tank right now probably don't give him that much credit. Let Tank build it up a little bit more. But he ain't going to 140 doing nothing. At 35, it's nothing they can do to continue to climb the scales and be pound for pound number one, in my opinion, in my ranking system, unless it be Mikey Garcia. But we gone.